Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And I'm Kevin. And we're here to talk to you today about Classic Battletech. Awesome game, right? So Catalyst has now released two brand new box sets, an introductory box set and then a Game of Armored Combat, which is a more complete set. If you haven't got them, definitely go and pick them up. Um, and uh, we are actually putting together a video series to teach you guys how to play the game. Uh, so great if you're a new player, and even veteran alike, pretty cool to check it out. Some, yeah, good tips and tricks in there. Um, so, you know, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff coming up, battle reports, unboxing videos, all sorts of neat stuff. Um, but let's talk about Battletech the game for a minute here. What is uh, Battletech? What is Battletech? Battletech's been around forever. Battletech was actually one of the first tabletop war <laughs> games I bought back in the 90s. Ever. And, ever. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, it's been around forever. It's a phenomenal game, um, and it basically pits two forces against each other. Um, and there, you know, there's miniatures and dice and record sheets, and you know, your forces face off in a, in a tactical manner, uh, and and only you know, only one force prevails. And so, um, the lore behind BattleTech is that uh, it's the 31st century. Uh, mankind has spread across the stars in the Milky Way. Uh, no aliens, nothing like that. Uh, it's just straight up. Uh, human so on human, warfare. full scale warfare, right? Exactly. Game and of Thrones. Game <laughs> Minus dragons. Right. No <laughs> dragons. Replaced with battle mechs. Um, and so uh, you might be familiar with Mech Warrior, which is a video game series, also been around forever. Um, and so they're just actually coming out with Mech Warrior Five, I think, in 2019 mm -hmm. in September. That's supposed to come That's out. That's how I found out about BattleTech. Yeah. And Mech so, Warrior too. So a lot of Mech Warrior players out there that yep. have never played this game. Um, and so really, that, that is Battletech in a nutshell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So, I mean, let's talk about the mechs themselves. Yeah. Right? Mechs are essentially these massive walking, running, jumping constructs of war, right? Just massive armored robots, essentially, that are piloted by dumb or smart, brave pilots. Um, <laughs> that are essentially yeah. like the future equivalent of a battle tank. Um, they're armed to the teeth with different weapons and loadouts for the right situation yeah. and tactical play. Um, and then they come in these different classes. There are light mechs, there are medium mechs, heavy mechs, and assault. Um, they range from 20 to 100 tons within those weight classes. Um, and they're generally on average about 10 meters tall. So these are huge machines. Yeah, it's, it's like 30, um, 30, 30 to 35 feet, right? Yeah. It's big. Uh, the light mechs are essentially going to be your quintessential light and nimble mechs, right? They're scouts, they're flankers. Um, your medium mechs are sort of the jack of all trades, right? Some are good at particular roles, but generally they're sort of flexible in, in most roles. Yeah. Uh, the heavy mechs are really your frontline fighters. Yeah. Um, they're sometimes single purpose mechs or what they fill, fulfill a single role um, really well. And then your assault mechs are like the battle centerpieces, right? They're like the juggernauts of war. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And so what do you need to get started playing? Well, to start you need a Battletech manual. Yep. Um, this will have all the rules and sort of everything you need to get started. You'll need uh, two six-sided dice at, at least. You can use a whole bunch more if you want, yep. but that'll get you going. Um, something to write on and something to play on. That's really it to get started. Right. You can get really fancy with it and have custom terrain, mats, uh, miniatures, and uh, we'll, yeah. we'll have some videos on customizations and you know some really cool yeah. modeling yeah. tips. Yeah. And then one of the things you're going to need and be using yeah. a lot of are the record sheets, right? So to track your battle forces when you're playing the games, the sheets themselves will record data on there. If we just focus on the mechs, you're type of mech, right, what chassis it is, they come in, oh, all these different manufacturers and factions are creating all these different designs of their own, so tracking what mech you have, um, what tonnage it is, what's its movement like, what's its battle value, which is essentially like a rating for match play. Right, um, awesome. And you're also going to have weapon profiles, right, what types of weapons, how many, where they're located, how much heat they accumulate, how much damage they apply, and right. the different ranges of what they operate, right? And what kind of modifiers you're going to expect to see or how likely you're to hit a target that you're shooting at. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I guess the other thing is, is the mech warrior, right? So you mentioned earlier, you know, these, these mechs are piloted um, by a mech warrior. And so 
Uh, they have a couple of different skills, um, primarily gunnery, which is how well they shoot, and then piloting, which is how well they can ride, how well they drive and handle the mech, right. um, you know, in, in extreme conditions. Um, and also, you know, the pilots themselves can take damage. So when you get smacked in the head or the mech falls down or ammo explodes, right, the pilot can take some damage. And so the pilot can actually die before the mech is destroyed. It's a sad, um, sad thing. It's a sad thing. It, it doesn't... It's called a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that is, you know, it's important to track all that stuff, so that's on the record sheet as well. And you mentioned taking damage. So then on the other side of the record sheet um, is the armor mm. diagram. And so that actually lays out all the specific places and the amount of armor that your mech has uh, for those locations. Right. And when uh, your opponent might damage you, it's all specific to that location. Right. And then once you've um, used up all your arm armor in that location, it goes to your internal structure, which is... Uh, the diagram right below it. And uh, when you start taking internal damage, there's critical effects you can yeah. suffer, which are shown on that table. And mm. they can, you know, disable your mech, hurt your pilot, right. one shot kill you, uh, all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and the last section on the, on the, uh, the battle, uh, the record sheet, the yeah. Record sheet yeah. yeah, is uh, the heat <clears throat> section. And uh, that's, that is a, a status effects um, list. So when you build up heat, uh, your mech, uh, and your piloting can suffer and you know it tells you what happens and then there's a heat index that allows you to track um, throughout the game how much heat you've built up and allows you to bleed it off if you uh, right, you know, don't do it. it. Yeah, 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 so mechs, exactly. yeah, and heat is a, is a thing, um, Battletech, that's really important to the game and basically everything your mech does builds up heat. Yeah. Um, movement, weapons, right. um, taking certain times of critical you know, if you're, you can lose heat sinks and all sorts of things. Exactly. So. Yeah. so another note is on the record sheets, right, to make it easier to print record sheets and create your own custom mech record sheets, we recommend an app out there called Solaris Skunk Works. Mm -hmm. um, so an open source app developed by some guys that um, really is useful for designing and doing some cool things. Also just printing really mech sheets where otherwise you're going to be sort of copying or making photocopies of things you find online or some of the supplement material to get your record right. sheets. Um, so it's really useful and we've also developed a custom version that follows our house rules that we'll talk about in some later videos. Yep. Um, but so let's move on. We talked about record sheets and what you need to play but then there's also right the game. How is it divided? Or there's different phases to yeah, play. That's a good point. Um, there's the initiative phase, which starts things off, and that really just determines which order you're going in, right? Who's starting off. And then you have the movement phase, so everybody on the battlefield gets to position themselves tactically where you're moving, running, or walking to. Um, after that comes the shooting phase, so everybody gets to shoot at each other. Right. Um, even if I hit somebody and kill them or disable them, they get to fire back before that round completes. Um, and then at that point, we talk about... Um, Taking damage, right? We'll cover right. that in a later video is yeah. how that works. Um, then comes the physical attack phase. Yes. Right? So after your shooting is done, mechs get to do things like punch, shove, ram each other. Death from or above. I, our I namesake, so, death from I above, which so. is essentially the equivalent of a drop kick to the head. Right. Um, after that, you'll be taking damage as well, and then you talk about heat. So heat is the next phase in where you take all the things that have happened in the current round and you apply the heat and see where that lands you, how that affects you in the coming next round. Right, right. Um, after heat is done, there's the end phase where you take care of some ancillary rules um, within the game that we will cover in our later videos, but that's pretty much the general flow of gameplay every right. round per <clears throat> se. Right. Yeah, and so how do you win a game of Battletech? So, um, how do you win at anything? Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a death match. It's a death last match. man standing. Yeah. So, this is the basic game of Battletech is usually a death match, and that's mm -hmm. where you know one force outlasts the other. Yeah. And that's it. But then there's also mission play that have um, special criteria to win on, and that can be anything from achieving an objective location, killing a specific mech, right. making it across the board, all sorts of things. Very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I mean that right. That really makes it dynamic, right? Um, yeah. When you when you sort of add the missions, and I mean I think the death matches are great when you're getting started, but you know when you have like a small force that's trying to bust, you know, bust the line, and there's like a you know big force of assault max. I mean, it really adds or a, a sweet you yeah. know fortress that you have to you know. Yeah, take exactly. Yeah, I mean, they they, they set up a rule framework to allow for really any it's true. scenarios or 
mission types that you'd find in most war games. Right? Yeah, yeah, and you can adapt you know, capture them. style games or territory based games, things like that. So it's yeah. really cool. A lot of cool stuff in there. And it's cool because it really is backed with decades of of lore and fluff and material and mech. So yeah. so no, there's it's... different timelines you can play in, right in BattleTech, and so there's like right novels, right? There's there's so much cool stuff. So. Um, I mean, that really wraps up the, the sort of the first video here in our series. Um, definitely stay tuned. Uh, we have a lot more coming. We have at least one video for every phase, and we might collapse some of the smaller ones into one video for you. Um, but you'll learn everything you need to know here, so definitely subscribe, stay tuned, and thanks again for watching from all of us here at Death From Above Wargaming.